Ten years ago, the area known today as Starbase was among the most remote regions in the US. However, with SpaceX's arrival, it has undergone remarkable transformations over time. The visionary space enterprise led by the world's wealthiest individual has meticulously constructed a comprehensive system, encompassing production, testing, and launch featuring numerous distinctive structures. One of the most notable is the launch tower, garnering significant attention attention as the ultimate staging ground for the world's largest rocket. Beyond merely serving as a platform, this tower fulfills crucial functions, including the lifting, stacking, and eventual launch of Starship. Additionally, it's slated to play an unprecedented role in capturing stages of this rocket in future missions, a capability unmatched by any other system. Following the test flights, particularly the IFT-2 mission marked by significant advancements, SpaceX likely recognized that a solitary launch tower might not suffice to meet the extensive demands they've outlined. The existing tower is primed to require new companions, given the imminent surge in workload ahead. Therefore, on the last day of 2023, Elon Musk posted an interesting tweet. The next stage of the Starship program should be called the Two Towers. This this is truly a promising statement from the founder of SpaceX for an explosive 2024, including the appearance of the second launch tower at Starbase. In fact, signs of the second launch tower's construction began to surface earlier. Shortly after the IFT-2 flights in November of 2023, around three tower segments were transported to Starbase. By mid-December, it appeared that the seventh segment had also arrived at the site, similar to to the current structure, the new launch tower will comprise nine segments and stand at an overall height of 145 meters. SpaceX now possesses nearly enough segments to commence the stacking process. These segments were transported via barges from Kennedy Space Center, Florida to the port of Brownsville before being transferred to Starbase. Concurrent with the arrival of the launch tower segments, SpaceX also dismantled suborbital pad A in the final month of 2023. Speculations suggest this area might be the site for the construction of the second tower. The timeline for the commencement of construction on this new launch tower by SpaceX remains uncertain. However, if the construction begins within the first quarter, there is a likelihood that the work might conclude within the span of 2024. When setting up the previous launch system, SpaceX dedicated over a year from around July of 2020 to August of 2021 to finalize fundamental structures like the launch mount, launch tower, and Mechazilla arm. Following the IFT-1 flight, additional time was spent extending over a few months to incorporate the water deluge system beneath the launch mount. Considering the acquired experience, construction of the new tower might progress more rapidly, potentially facilitating readiness for operation by the end of 2024 or early 2025. The years 2024 and 2025 25 will prove pivotal for SpaceX, marking a crucial phase in assisting Starship's orbital deployment and achieving operational stability swiftly. Launch activities are set to intensify following ULA Vulcan's successful launch. Currently, the S-28 and B-10 prototypes appear primed after successful static fire tests and are in the last phases of preparation. Simultaneously, other prototype pairs are undergoing final installation and testing testing procedures. Barring significant obstacles, SpaceX is positioned to conduct around four to five test flights in 2024. This upcoming workload represents a considerable demand on the current launch tower's capabilities. The challenge has escalated following Elon Musk's recent aud audacious statement on X. He envisions a future where SpaceX relaunches Starship daily and super heavy within just an hour, a feat unparalleled in the rocket industry's history. To meet this unprecedented demand, SpaceX aims to produce 100, if not their optimal goal of 300, ships annually. This substantial number exceeds the capacity of an existing tower. Moreover, the differing timelines between Starship and Super Heavy could lead to mission overlaps, complicating tasks like catching, refurbishment, and relaunch. Introducing a second launch tower becomes critical, offering 
offering a potential solution by allowing specialized functions. One tower to focus on launching, while the other handles catching and refurbishment tasks. This highlights the growing importance of constructing a second launch tower. Musk's tweet regarding the launch tower struck me with an intriguing detail. The reference to the new phase of the Starship program as the two towers. For those familiar with the Lord of the Rings, this might resonate deeply. In the movie series, the two towers is followed by the return of the king. The analogy seems to reflect SpaceX's unwavering commitment to the ambitious goal of landing and reusing Starship. It suggests that constructing a second launch tower marks the initial step toward achieving this monumental feat. What are your thoughts on this interpretation? Feel free to share your insights in the comments section down below. As of now, SpaceX has ample time to construct the second tower since initial plans involve landing the Super Heavy in the Gulf of Mexico and splashing down the Starship in the Pacific Ocean during the first flights. The concept of returning to the launch site for Starship's landing by the launch tower might be implemented after successfully reaching orbit. However, it's crucial to expedite the completion of all necessary tasks to be fully prepared for these vital operations. Certainly, Musk's ambitious goals suggest that two towers won't suffice. Numerous additional launch towers may be required to meet those lofty aspirations. This expansion might necessitate the removal of old systems at the launch site or even its substantial enlargement. There's an array of tasks ahead and constructing the second tower will mark the onset of that phase. While the launch tower's development remains paramount to SpaceX's ambitious plans, the company has been actively revamping another critical aspect of orbital launches, the tank far. SpaceX's recent modifications to this system are equally significant in shaping the future of their orbital endeavors. In this configuration, the eight towering vertical tanks take center stage, serving as prominent structures primarily used to store various fuels and other liquids. They've held liquid oxygen, liquid nitrogen, and water presently, and were previously used for storing liquid methane. These vertical tanks boast immense capacity, ideal for fuel storage, yet this feature also constitutes their greatest vulnerability. During the IFT-1, concrete debris from the launch pad was propelled into these tanks, visibly scarring their shells. Their towering stature makes them more susceptible to external influences compared to alternative designs, hence SpaceX is gradually phasing out these vertical tanks, replacing them with safer alternatives like horizontal tanks or other systems. Recently, SpaceX cut and removed the two tank shells including Shell 2 and Shell GSE-8. The inner tank that is used to store water may also be removed soon. Along with the removal, new fuel tanks are also being delivered. This is the opening for the upcoming series of changes that will take place with the tank farm, and we can believe that the tank farm system in the IFT-3 flight will be extremely unfamiliar. As the tank farm undergoes substantial alterations, Starbase's transformative phase gears up for the next chapter in the Starship program. The recent removal of tank shells and the incoming delivery of new fuel tanks mark the beginning of a series of changes that will redefine the tank farm, promising a vastly different system for the upcoming IFT-3 flight. Specifically, the appearance of the second tower will be something we all look forward to. It'll be the key to pushing the Starship project to a new level, with extremely strong development. And after the second launch tower, the third, fourth, and even more will appear. That will be where the Starships, the world's largest rockets, will depart to reach new milestones and then return after a glorious journey. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.